Hello YouTube! I hope you are doing well this October. With the Halloween holiday quickly approaching, I once again find myself looking forward to some Halloween traditions, one of which is watching It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown. I purchased the Peanuts Holiday Specials in a DVD set a number of years ago, and I'll pull out the DVD and watch it with my kids sometime during the week of Halloween. While I love all of these holiday specials, it's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown is probably my favorite. Here are a few facts about this holiday special that you may not be aware of, and what Charles Schultz was secretly writing about when he created the Great Pumpkin. It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown was made at the request of network executives who wanted to replicate the success that a Charlie Brown Christmas had had just the year before in 1965, where 50% of the nation's households had turned in to watch that special. They told the show's creators, Charles Schultz, Lee Mendelson, and Bill Melendez, that they wanted another holiday special that they could run every year, just like they were planning to do with the Charlie Brown Christmas. Here are a few interesting facts about this holiday special. In It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown, we get the first animated sequence of Lucy pulling the football just as Charlie Brown does his best to give it a kick. Now this gag had been pulled time and time again in Charles Schultz comic strip going way back to 1952, which was the first time she pulled the football away from old Chuck. The cartoon's creators also decided to use this holiday special to introduce Snoopy's World War I flying ace. This was another idea that had also been in the comic strip, but Lee Mendelson thought it would be even better fully animated. And you know what? I have to say that I totally agree. This sequence is probably one of my favorite parts of the show. But what I probably find most interesting about the show, however, is that Charles Schultz was secretly writing about Santa Claus when he created The Great Pumpkin. Apparently, Schultz realized that some kids' parents could only afford one, maybe two gifts for the holidays. He told Lee Mendelson that The Great Pumpkin is really a kind of satire on Santa Claus, and when he doesn't come to town, Linus is crushed. Vince Guaraldi, who composed and performed the score of the show, usually performed as a trio. However, he expanded to a sextet for The Great Pumpkin. The music of the Peanuts holiday specials is always so special, and definitely something that makes them stand the test of time. This soundtrack, along with the soundtrack for A Charlie Brown Christmas, are played regularly in my home from October through the end of the year. I've got to say that I'm more than a little disappointed that It's a Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown won't be broadcast on network TV this year for the first time in decades. With that said, as I mentioned earlier, I am looking forward to pulling out the DVD and watching this with my kids again this year and continuing on a tradition that's been part of my life since I was a young kid watching it on television. What are your thoughts on this classic holiday special? Will you be streaming it this year on Apple TV? What are your favorite Peanuts holiday specials? I look forward to reading your comments. Also, I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to my channel where I talk about music, TV, and movies from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. As always, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and have a great day.